Alright, so, hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a reading for the sign of Sagittarius, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Sagittarius. If you'd like a personal reading, that is going to be the first link in the description down below. Alright, let me repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. And while we're talking about the description there, you'll also find a bunch of other things. You'll find my Etsy shop, where you can find my tarot and my oracle cards on there. You can find my holographic stickers, as well as the mini holographic version of my oracle cards on there. All right, all that's in the description down below on my Etsy shop. And you can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, even Twitch and Patreon. All that's in the description down below. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so because I do appreciate your dearest donations here. Okay, dearest beloved. <laughs> like those oracle cards. Dear beloved. <laughs> the wheel of fortune with the two of wands here okay so look at this so we do have like a bunch of seasons here we are like well in february we are going to be kind of transitioning into march so either ways from winter to spring also getting out of the stagnation of winter all right like i'm in a metaphor way onto spring where things are going to be blooming for you sagittarius okay and we also have you and another person working on growing something together all right so have a look and see what is happening. Oh, we have the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Wands, which is going to be your own card here. We have Seven of Pentacles. We have the Fool. We have the Queen of Swords, which is Air. All right, and the Queen of Swords, who looks like the Evil Queen from Snow White. <laughs> we have the Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, yeah, you have you and another person here, Sagittarius, where it's like, um, we're going to be building a life together here, okay? It's like there's communication coming in through that, alright? Also see you working on things that are really going to grow into something big in the future here, Sag, okay? Yeah, the Four of Cups, Ace of Cups. So there is new beginnings here, there is new growth, there's like new starts and all that sort of stuff, but you may be feeling a bit like bored or like, you know, where is, when is it going to happen or something like that, looking at that Four of Cups. Yeah, the Six of Wands, Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords, we have the Emperor, which can be seen as Aries, but we have the Two of Pentacles here. The Knight of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Princess of Pentacles. Okay, look at the Sagittarius. So there's success here. All right, major success. Must be like family in the future. So we do have children here. Ten of Cups, this Two of Pentacles over here. All right. Uh, we have, like I said, there's communication coming in here, and it feels like someone that you may already know of. Six of Cups there. Okay. Um. Or you're coming together in like a romantic union where you can be building up a life together here. Okay. You get that Princess of Pentacles. Look at that. She's writing over here, writing a message. And you're also collecting coins here because look at that bag. Look at the bag. Sagittarius! We have the Three of Pentacles, we have Strength, Five of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, which is Earth, we have the Five of Pentacles, King of Cups, which is Water, so maybe a water sign that you're coming back into contact with here, Queen of Cups, even though you're Fire, um, I feel like you may be this Queen of Cups here where you're like a completion couple, right? Yeah, lovers. You see that? We're coming back into union here, Sagittarius. At the divine uniting here. 
you and them here. Um, so what it feels like, this may be someone who draws or draws you or paints you, looking at that three of pentacles there. Um, you may have another person here which gives them conflict, and I don't mean that in a love triangle or love sense way. That can be like a friend or a family member, especially like a, a Taurus here. Looking at the strength card, we have the bull, we have the queen of pentacles, and it feels like they're really unsatisfied with that person. I see them liking you here, however. We have the hangman. We have the three of cups. Seven of cups. Justice, once again. Winter to spring. Eight of pentacles. We have the ten of wands. Knight of pentacles. The world. You see that we have all the elements coming in together here. Alright, in alignment. Right, Sagittarius, you're in alignment here and you're working hard as well. Ten of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Alright, that feels like where that's been your main focus at the moment, or for a while here. Um, this person is getting a different perspective of you and how much they actually enjoy your presence here. Okay, once again, future children there, Three of Cups. We have the High Priestess and the High Priest, or not the High Priest, but the Higher Fan, which is kind of like the High Priest here, alright? So you are appearing as the High Priestess, where you're very intuitive, you're very in tune, you're very spiritual here. With these two cards, alright? Feels like you've asked, and now you are receiving, you ask the Divine here, alright? You also come in, you see, you see how much you guys complete each other here? Queen of Cups, King of Cups, High Priestess, Higher Fan. Yeah, we have the Two of Cups. I don't like the Sun of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. And the Hermit. I need to look at some ruins here, Sag. Okay. We have the Nine of Cups. Five of Swords. We have the Devil. So this is like a very passionate love Sagittarius very passionate intense the devil being there the ten of swords okay so I honestly see this love connection being fine so you being quite happy with them I also see you have another person here who's like I said this is not in a, a third party or anything like that but you have another person here who can be like a Virgo or something where I honestly just avoid them okay also, yeah, just avoid them. Um, so let's have a look at some ruins, since that's what the cards have decided to pull out for you, Sash. Okay, what do we have? So it's like we have the we have the divine here. We have the goddess bringing about change where there's been like a very long standstill, nothing happening between you and this person. That's being changed where there is something happening. All right, there's renewal, there's um, communication, love, all that sort of stuff. Right. So, Sagittarius. That is all I have for you, and like I said, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also go on my Etsy shop, go on there, go buy something, really appreciate that. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe.
Bye, guys.